Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start this episode with this nice picture of the BE4 first flight engine shared by ULA CEO Tori Bruno. The Vulcan Center first stage needs two BE4 engines, so one more engine to go for the first mission. In 2018, Elon Musk said on Twitter that he will seriously eat his hat with the side of mustard if Vulcan Center rocket flies national security spacecraft before 2023. Well, I guess Elon wanted his hat. At Starbase launch site, Chip 24 distanced from Super Heavy Booster 7 yesterday to give more time for SpaceX team to work on the orbital launch mount and the ground support equipment. Elon said, we are proceeding very carefully. If there is a rapid in scheduled disassembly on the pod, Starship progress will be set back by about six months. And closure cancel for today. Until this moment, we don't have any possible closure. This is Ariane 6 rocket fully stacked in French Guyana. This is the test model with payload mockup to test and validate the rocket pad gantry system. At Starship 39A launch site, one of the tanks lifted using two cranes and positioned in two places. Launcher team successfully tested their E-2 engine turbo pump for the U.S. Space Force at NASA's Tiny Space Center. They said that they demonstrated the highest performance kerosene rocket engine turbo pump ever manufactured in the U.S. Let's hear the sound and the most important thing watching the data. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.